everybody, Wax Back to Comics, and I'm back. This time, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be sending off to CGC this month. If you're interested in finding out what I'm sending off, stay tuned for that. Intro. Welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. Like I said, I'm going to be showing off the books that I'm going to be sending off to CGC this month. Um, I haven't sent off books to CGC in a while. Um, typically, I like to send them off through like facilitators or I go to conventions and just hand them off. Um, I don't often do a lot of submissions from home. So uh, it's been a while. So I'm going to show you off some of the books, uh, actually all of the books I'm going to be sending off and uh, just explaining why. So um, first book. Got a, a nice spec book. This is Infinite Crisis, issue number five. This is the first full appearance of Jaime, Jaime Reyes, um, the Blue Beetle. And this is also his first cover appearance. Um, ended up picking this up recently at a flea market for, I believe it was around 40 bucks. Um, it's in really nice shape. The guy had it on the wall there, so, you know, and I opened it up and um, skimmed it through and I only saw like a tiny little impression on the book. Um, outside of that, the book looked really clean. I'm just gonna send it right through. I'm taking a chance, sending it right through without a press, um, hoping it gets a 9.8, you know, um, and they don't really know. This book has a lot of gloss and it's a thicker book. So I'm gonna take a shot at this one and uh, hope I get a 9.8. If, uh, if it does come back at a 9.6, well then, you know, I'll have to make a hard decision <laughs> because it may not be cost, cost effective, uh, you know, from a standpoint to send it over. I do also have the cover B for the same book. This is the first time I ever had this issue in the cover A. And f strangely enough, cover B does not command anywhere near the price of cover A. It's about half, which is quite surprising. Like um, a 9.8 of cover B, I believe it's a Jim Lee cover, goes for around 100, 110 bucks, while um, cover A goes for around uh, two. I've seen it as high as 260. So uh, it, it's quite the uh, disparity. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna send over my cover B, but I will take a shot at this one um, without a press and uh, see if I can get a 9.8. Um, next book. I ended up picking this book up at the uh, Three Men in the Basement comic crawl, and uh, this was at, I believe this was at Sarge's. Um, so I got like next to nothing in this book, I think probably like 70 cents, but uh, it's a cool book, um, and this is Night Watch issue number one. As you can see, it's the uh, foily edition and uh this is pretty nostalgic for me you know 90s obviously a lot of foily shiny madness and this cover shows it all i like it it's pretty sweet um this book strangely enough it is a nice cover it's done by uh, ryan Lim and al milgram as it says there at the bottom um but yeah it's, it's a nice cover and uh i feel like nine eights in this book go for on a good day, a buck fifty. So even if it hits like a nine six, I feel like it's it's worth a shot in submitting. Next book, I ended up getting this book last year during um, Pride Month. So this is we're in June now. So June is uh, Pride Pride Month, and um, DC has been doing these DC Pride specials. So I picked this one up. I thought this was a beautiful cover. I believe this was done by I want to say Jen Bartel. But um, this is DC Pride issue number one, and you can see there it's from 2022. This whole cover is just really nice. I like the colors. I like how it shines as well. Um, it is the Virgin variant. I believe this is the one in 25 or one in 50. I don't. I can't remember offhand. I probably want to say it's a one in 50. Um, but it's just a nice cover. I don't think there's any significance whatsoever, but um, I figured because it's um, Pride Month, it's worth submitting, and it could probably do it for a quick flip. Um, 
And, you know, it's just a nice cover. What's, you know, I, I ended up giving, I bought these, like, two covers. Uh, the cover the cover A, which had the trade. And then I bought two of the 1 in 50s. And I, I believe last year I gave one away. I can't remember offhand. But uh, I'm going to give a shot at that. And, and this book should be easily a 9.8. It's a really thick square bound. They use, you know, this is when, you know, DC uses the really high quality paper. So it's really easy to get 9.8s in these. So I'm going to send that off. Next book is going to be a spec book. Um, I've had this book probably now for a couple of years. And uh, there's been a lot of talks about this character potentially showing up at Secret Invasion. And uh, this is Secret War. This is book two, so issue two or five. And this is the sketch variant. Uh, so the sketch variant is a little bit more valuable than the cover A, I believe. And uh, it's a beautiful cover done by Gabriel Del Otto. I like the Wolvie there on the cover. It's pretty sweet. Um, all the covers, I believe all five issues had beautiful cover art. I do have issue one as well in the sketch variant. But that's even like a more deep spec play. I believe it's the um, wife of Dr. Doom is the uh, character in that book. But... Um, First appearance of Quake. Sorry, I didn't even tell you what the, what, what the significance of the book is. First appearance of Quake, Daisy Johnson. You've seen her already if you watch the um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show that was on ABC back in the day. I actually liked the show. I thought that was pretty good. She, she definitely was one of the um, stars in the show. And there's a lot of speculation that she may or may not show up in Secret Invasion. I don't know, but... Because of that, it's been going up in value. I ended up picking this up at an antique mall for four bucks. So, like I said, I don't got enough much into it. Um, it has been pressed, and it's it, it's tough with these white covers. You just never know. A lot sometimes these uh, you know flaws can be tough to spot as well. So it does have a shot at a nine eight, but we'll see. Next book. One of my favorites, um, ended up picking this up at a flea market a couple of years ago as well um, from a vendor. I think I paid a dollar, uh, but I was really surprised to see that there. I was a little disappointed going back now thinking about it because that vendor had a bunch of the issues in this series and some of these are super hard to find, uh, but I'll show you what the book is. And this is Akira issue number one. Uh, really cool story. If you haven't read this uh, series, definitely, definitely worth checking out. Um, one of the really good indie reads from back in the day. I believe they're working on doing a movie or a TV series. It has been optioned. Um, like I said before, I'm really kicking myself for not picking up some of the later issues. They did have a lot of the later 20s, 30s, and I believe... The early 40 issues, I forget if there was like 42, 43 issues in the series, but that vendor did have those really, really hard to find issues. And I'm like bumming out now that they didn't have, that I didn't get it that day. It got snacked up right away when I went to the next vendor. Um, but really cool book to pick up. Definitely highly recommend it if uh, you haven't read the series. And then the last, the last three books, it'll, it's a bundle. Um, I pre-ordered this book when I saw the cover. Uh, I know like Big Time Collectibles has been doing a lot of these shiny um, DC covers. And um, I kind of like, I don't know, I don't want to call it FOMO because uh, there wasn't any books I was chasing. But I saw this cover and I was like, well, when it gets time to pre-order, I'm going to pick one up. So uh, the book is... It's already covered up. So it's the uh, Batman issue. I want to say it's issue 135, but it's legacy number 900. And uh, this is the big time, uh, big time Collectibles Gold Foil. I forget how many it was limited to. I don't know if it was 1,000 or 5,000. I forget. But um, ended up picking up three copies. So they're already, already covered up, ready to go off the CGC. Um, I didn't overpay. Like I said, I pre-ordered them. I think they were 25 bucks a piece. I can't remember offhand. 
but um, just really nice. Every you know, how can you go wrong with that? Look at that shine. That's pretty cool. And uh, I'm not always the biggest uh, store exclusive person, um, but from time to time I will I will you know pick some up. Um, they did also come out with a black version as well. I did not pick up any of those. I just picked up the gold ones, and um, they ended up selling out right away. I know they did have pre-orders for 98s. I think they were asking, I want to say 85 or 89 dollars uh, pre-screen 9.8s, and I was like, well, considering the hard stock that they use for these exclusives, and like it's you pay 25 bucks you pay another what maybe 25 bucks to get it graded from CGC maybe a little bit less depending on your account I believe my account I can get it down to 22 23 bucks a book because uh, I have the uh, I have the elite account and um, it ends up coming out to just under 50 bucks for the books you know excluding shipping but um yeah, fifty bucks versus eighty-five or eighty-nine bucks. I I thoroughly looked through the books. They all look like nine eights, you know. And one of them potentially has a nine nine. We'll see. I don't like to say that because that's those are like that's like a ghost getting like a nine nine or a ten. I've never got one, but one of them looks super clean. But I can feel pretty assured that there'll be at least nine eights. Um, so I'll send those out and, uh, you know, we'll see what they come back at. So, uh, those are my books. I think those are eight books total. I'm going to send those off to uh, CGC this month. Hopefully I get them back within a month, month or so. And, uh, we'll do the unboxing when it comes back. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. If you did hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you have any and comment down below. Let me know if you have any of those books as well. All right, guys.